Jumbo. Jumbo. Welcome back, everybody. Are we happy to see our friends again? Yeah, we are so glad to see you here in Jummy Kingdom with us. I hope you're having a great week. And I hope that you've been learning and that you're ready for another day of fun and excitement. Do you remember what our action point was yesterday? Jesus loves me. I am brave. I am brave, that's right. Did you guys remember it at home? Jesus loves me. I am brave. Good job. Are you guys ready to get our day started? We're going to start our day with our theme song. Stand up and get ready to sing with me through the jungle. Here we go. When the world is a jungle, you are by my side. And you will never let me go Your promises are mine I will fear no lion, fear no lair Cause in the darkness you are there You're the light that conquers fear Whoa, oh, oh. I will fear no creature, big or small Cause when you're with me, I stand tall You lift me up above it all Whoa, oh, oh. Whoa, whoa I follow my king through the jungle Whoa, whoa I follow him wherever he goes Whoa, whoa I follow my king through the jungle whoa, a jungle, you were by my side, and you will never let me go, your promises are mine, I will fear no lion, fear no lair, cause in the darkness you are there. everyone. Are you ready to meet another one of my animal friends? This is a really big animal, isn't it? This is Empathy the Elephant. Why do you think that she's called Empathy? You don't know? Empathy means that you can feel someone else's pain. Not just feeling like sad for them, but really feeling with them. 
Empathy is being able to feel what someone else is feeling. Elephants, although they are some of the most enormous creatures on our planet, they are also known to be one of the most empathetic creatures. They look out for each other and for other animals, and they are very helpful. If they see another elephant stuck, what do they? What do you think they do? They help them out. They help them get out of the mud. So that brings us to our action point today, which is Jesus loves me. I am helpful. And when you say helpful, I want you to pretend that you're pulling your friend out of the mud. Can you do that? <sighs> say, I am helpful. I am helpful. That's right. Okay. Now we're going to practice. Jesus loves me. I am helpful. That's right. I am helpful. You guys need to practice at home too. Ready? Jesus, Jesus loves, loves me. me. I, I am helpful. helpful. And anytime you hear somebody say, Jesus loves me today, you're going to say, I am helpful. I am helpful. We've got another Bible verse for us to learn together. Ooh, it's a long one. Can you read it for me, Seth? None of you should look out just for your own good. You should also look out for the good of others. Philippians 2, 4. That's right. It's, it's telling us that we should be looking out for the good of others, not just ourselves. Let's practice saying that together. None of you should look out just for your own good. You should also look out for the good of others. Philippians 2, 4. Okay, now we've got one more song to sing and then you guys will be able to get going on your stations and I'll see you back again at the end. Hi, welcome to day three of Bible Story Station. I am so happy to see you. But I'm also feeling a little sad today. You see, here at our village, we all like to help each other, but I haven't been able to find anyone to help me. <gasps> Say, can you help me today? Great, I knew you would. There are so many jobs that need to be done, and it's always more fun when we can work together as a team. Last spring, I planted this garden, but now it's overgrown with weeds. What can we use to clean up my garden? Which tools would help me clean up my garden? A whisk or a rake? You're right, the rake and shovel would be helpful. Thank you for helping me. I can't wait to share my vegetables with you. Recently, there was a big storm and the wind blew off a piece of my roof. What can we use to fix my roof? A fishing pole? or a hammer. That's right, hammers would work. Thank you, I am so glad you are here to help me. Ah -ah 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 oh boy, that windstorm sure blew a lot of dust around. Now there's dust everywhere. What can we use to clean up the dust? Binoculars? or our dustpan and broom. Yes, the dustpan and broom would help. Everything looks so clean. Thank you. Oh dear, I must be allergic to all this dust. I just don't feel so good. I know, how about a big pot of warm vegetable soup? That would make me feel better. What can we use to make a pot of soup? A big pot? or a magnifying glass. Exactly. We need a big pot to put the vegetables in. That soup sure looks yummy. Thank you for being so kind. I have one last problem. Yesterday, I was walking on the savanna when my shirt got caught on a thorn and now I have a big hole in it. What can we use to fix the hole? A loom or a whisk? You're sure right, a loom would work. 
You have been so helpful today. Thank you. I am so much happier now. It feels so good when others help you. But did you know it feels even better when you help others? Today, I hope you will find a way to help someone. Maybe give them a big hug or make them laugh or do what Dorcas would do and help someone in need. There was a woman in the Bible named Dorcas who was helpful too. She loved helping others, especially by making clothes and giving them to people who need them. One day she got so sick, then she died. All the people she had helped were so sad. They heard that Peter, one of Jesus' disciples, was visiting a town nearby. They sent two messengers to ask Peter to come as quick as he could. Peter rushed over to Dorcas's house and went up to the room where Dorcas was lying. Peter knelt down, he prayed to God. He asked God to perform a miracle for Dorcas. Then he stood up and said, Dorcas, get up. Dorcas, get up. She opened her eyes. She sat up. God had done a miracle. Peter was so happy to see Dorcas sitting up. He called to everyone. Come quick, come see what God has done. Everyone came to the room and they were so happy to see Dorcas alive again. After everything Dorcas had done for them, they were glad Peter could help her too. Let's say our action point together. Jesus loves me. I am helpful. Let's end our Bible story station with prayer. Can you fold your hands? and bow your heads. Dear Jesus, please help us to be helpful to others. Please give us a caring and loving heart. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Today, we're going to do something to remind us of ways to help others. Okay, are you ready? You're gonna need some markers and you're gonna need a piece of paper like this and you're gonna need your hands. So start with your left hand and put it on the left side of the paper and then take a pencil or a marker and trace around your hand. You might want to put your fingers out just a little bit so it's easier to trace. And you know what? If you have little hands, you can probably get both hands on the paper. If your hands are pretty big or if you started out in the middle, we might need to use both sides of the paper. All right, you have your hand all done? Put your name on your hand on the bottom. And then you're going to draw a picture of something that you like to do to be helpful. You might draw a picture of doing the dishes or giving a card to a friend visiting a neighbor, taking flowers to a sick person. Oh, there's all kinds of things we can do to be helpful, isn't there? And when you're all done with that, put a big smiley face on your hand. Because when you do things to help others, you make them smile, right? Yeah, definitely. Awesome. Very good. Jesus loves me. I am helpful. Hey guys, welcome back to the craft station. I'm Sam and this is my mom, April. Hey guys, what are we making today, Sam? Today we're making a hippo clapper. Oh, that's fun. So what do they need? What's in their pack? You have this hippo cutout. And you might need some markers. What else is in their pack that they're going to need? Um, and a piece of string. It's like a stretchy string that you're going to need. All right, so what are they going to need to do first? First, you want to take out your handle for, for your clapper, and you want to write your name. Next, you want to take out both of your clippers. Once they have their hippos. You want to line your hip 
hippo, you, you want to line your hippos with the holes. You might need an adult's help for tying the string in. I need help for it. Okay, I can help. So you line up these little holes and then your stretchy string, it just goes right through there on one side. You kind of need to hold on to this and then it needs to go through the other side and then just tie it together. It can be a little bit tricky. So we're gonna tie this down nice and tight. If you wanted to cut your strings shorter after you've done that, you can. I'm gonna do that just so it looks neat and tidy. Now you get to color. On this example, we did pink ears and blue eyes and just a little gray outline. What else are you gonna do, Sam? Are you gonna do it the same or different? I'm gonna do it different. You've got two hippos, so you can make it the same or you can make it different on either side, right? Once you're done coloring. How does it work? You do this. Those are really fun. Awesome job, guys. Jumbo, welcome back, everyone. Did you have a fun day playing and learning in Jami Kingdom? Did you enjoy the story? I hope you did. We're gonna talk about it in just a moment after this song. We're gonna get up on our feet and we're gonna sing If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout it in. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, shout it in. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout it in. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Amen. Great singing, everyone. I love singing with you, and I hope that you're enjoying singing with us, too. Now, who remembers what the story was about? Do you remember her name? Dorcas. Dorcas, that's right. And what was Dorcas known for? What was she, what was her story about? Help, helping. She was very helpful, wasn't she? She helped bring people food and clothes. And do you think she was a sad person? or a happy person? A happy person. A happy person. Because when we do things for others, it brings us joy and we are happy, right? Mm -hmm. Now, that brings us to our action point. Who remembers our action point? Jesus loves me. I am helpful. That's right, I am helpful. And we're pulling our friend out of the muck. And we remember that every time we see our friend, Empathy the elephant. Remember we talked about how elephants are very empathetic and very helpful. So that helps us remember, Jesus loves me, I am helpful. That's right. And what about our Bible verse? None of you should look out just for your own good. You should also look out for the good of others. Philippians 2, 4. That's right, we shouldn't just look out for our own good. We should always be looking out for the good of others. Hi friends, we are about to have another conversation in our Jami Kingdom studio with Pastor Shirley about our mission project for today. I wonder boys and girls, can you remember the projects that we've had so far? How about you, Bart? Water for everyone and equipping a school. Well done, Bart. Today is Feed a Child. Oh, there are so many children that go to bed hungry in their tummy. Can you imagine? That's so sad. Fortunately, we can help by sending some money to feed children. 
Children, wouldn't you like to help do this? Perhaps. I can also ask my granny and grandpa and aunt and uncle to help too. Then we can make an even bigger difference. That's a great idea, Bart. But don't forget to do your part too. I look forward to meeting with you tomorrow, Pastor Shirley. And I with you. And if you want to know more about feeding the children, you have a sheet that looks like this that you can learn about that project. Bye. Bye, boys and girls. Now, before we go, I think that we should pray. And then we've got one more song. Will you guys fold your hands and pray with me? Dear Jesus, thank you so much for this wonderful group of kids who you are with this week and who are joining us in Johnny Kingdom. I pray that you bless them and I pray that you help them to be very helpful. Amen. All right, join us for one more song. Get back on those feet and ready to sing. Away, 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 oh, oh, away, 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 oh, oh, away, away, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Away, away. 